Hi, I'm Shanna Carson, a museum educator at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art, and this is Bridging the Gap, a series of digital art engagements. In this segment, we will be looking at Trois Noirs sur en Rouge by Alexander Calder. In English, it is Three Blacks over Red. Before we go any further, make sure you have a pencil, crayon, or marker for an activity we will do later. Pause the video to collect what you need. Before we talk about this work of art, let's take a few moments to look closely at it. Start by letting your eyes wander around the sculpture, looking at all the details. Pause the video to give yourself time to look. Now, let's talk about what you see. First, notice the colors. A rusty orange, red, and black. Where do you see those colors? Right, in the sort of geometric shapes that seem to float in space. Are red and black the only colors you see? No, there is also a white circle and the silvery stainless steel that holds all the colors together. This artwork is a special kind of sculpture that stands on its own. See the three feet at the bottom? and moves with the air. This is a standing mobile. The feet at the bottom provide stability so the sculpture does not fall over, but the shapes suspended on wires will move randomly with air currents. Calder first made standing mobiles in 1930, almost a hundred years ago. People had never seen such a thing before. Three Blacks Over Red is the result of Alexander Calder's many interests. He was curious about space and the universe, he was inspired by the shapes he saw in nature, and he was fascinated by random movement created by chance. Let's investigate how these ideas operate in this artwork. This standing mobile was made in 1968, a time when American scientists were engaged in the space race to put men on the moon. That happened in 1969, but even before then, Americans were excited about learning what was out in the vast universe we could only see through our telescopes. Some people say the suspended shapes remind them of stars or planets in orbit through the sky. What do you think? Calder was curious about the shapes he saw around him in nature, just like you might be. In nature, lines and shapes are irregular, just like most of the shapes in Three Blacks Over Red. Now, let's talk about random movement and chance. If this standing mobile were outside, how do you think it would move? Would it move with just a little breeze? Would all its parts move at the same time or at the same speed? All these questions would be answered by observing the possibility of movement, which is chance. Remember when I asked you to gather a pencil, marker, or crayon? We are going to use these now to learn about movement, chance, and balance. See if you can balance a pencil on the tip of your index finger. Use your dominant hand, the one you write with, for this experiment. Place the pencil on your fingertip any way you want to and see how long you can balance it there. Try the same with your opposite hand. Is there a difference? Now, try the same experiment with the crayon or marker. If you would like to extend this experiment, try hanging something off the ends of the pencil to see if it would still balance. Calder found a unique way to create works that balanced and moved randomly. He said, I want to make things that are fun to look at. Do you think he succeeded with Three Blacks Over Red? Thank you for watching. This has been Bridging the Gap from Crystal Bridges.